Hi, my name is Julie Horton. I'm an infectious diseases physician, and today I'll be answering some questions about coronavirus and infections with COVID-19. COVID-19 is an infection that occurs related to a novel coronavirus that emerged in 2019 and has caused respiratory infections in patients around the world. COVID-19 is spread mainly through droplets. These are small particles that are spread through the air by patients who are infected with the virus and are coughing. Anyone can get infection from COVID-19. Those at most risk for severe complications, including pneumonia and severe respiratory disease, are those with underlying health issues, such as diabetes, heart disease, underlying lung disease, or immunosuppression, and anyone who is over age 60. It's not entirely understood why children are not at high risk for developing severe disease from COVID. There's actually active research going on right now to determine why children do not have illness from this disease and seem to be protected. What you can do to keep yourself healthy is, of course, washing your hands. This has been a public health initiative and emphasis since the start of this disease and ought to be part of our everyday life. Of course, avoiding sick people and you yourself staying home so that you do not endanger others if you are feeling unwell. Routine household disinfectants work well against coronavirus and are useful for cleaning contaminated surfaces. There's been a lot of information distributed by public health professionals about the idea of flattening the curve. This involves the idea of social distancing where we try to prevent the active spread of infection so that we don't overwhelm our healthcare system. This allows for spreading the cases out over time so that we don't have a large spike which will overwhelm the healthcare capacity. Our public health officials have determined that the best way to prevent further spread and to limit disease has been to enact social distancing. This involves having people spread themselves out and not congregate in large groups. Therefore, many sporting events and other concerts and other things where a large number of people were to gather have been canceled due to the discouragement of spreading disease from person to person. Of course, to avoid spreading infection to others, you should cover your cough. Also, to prevent infection in yourself, you should avoid touching your nose, mouth, or face. We can all take personal responsibility and stay home if we're sick. Certainly, social distancing that we've already discussed is an important measure, and avoiding large crowds will not only help your health, but potentially prevent spread to others. Coronavirus and COVID-19 are extremely important health issues. These diseases have been declared a pandemic and have caused illness throughout the world. Obviously, there's been a major disruption to most life occurrences. The biggest risk is posed to those who have underlying health issues and may be impacted severely with advanced disease and mortality. Patients who are experiencing mild symptoms such as low-grade fever and cough should be directed to stay home. Those that are experiencing severe symptoms such as shortness of breath or respiratory distress should of course seek medical attention. In order to allow our medical facilities and healthcare professionals to care for those who are in need, we are asking those with mild symptoms who are in need of more information to call Ask a Nurse. For more information, please head to our website.